Well, good morning, good afternoon, and of course, good evening, traders from across the globe. Thank you, thank you for tuning in to my 2774th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. Good evening, kids. Thanks for tuning in. So, listen. It's 110 degrees right now in Las Vegas. I hope I'm not disappointing you, but I cannot get in front of that camera in that studio and jump around. As soon as it cools down a little, I promise to go back into my studio. For now, I'm gonna show you a pretty cool video with excellent charts about what should happen in the next few days in the US indices markets and some other markets. So let's see what's going on. Please, traders, please, please remember that trading is risky, 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 risky. You can lose way more than a lot of people advertise on the internet and tell you that you can't lose. So please know that. Put your stops in first and never trade without protective stops. So for trading on Wednesday and maybe the next day too, that would be July 17, 2024. Let's see what's going on out there. Traders, you're looking at the Dow Jones Transportation Average, which was a serious laggard for a long time, right? It was spending time going down. When we see NASDAQ and S&P going up, and then boom, you got above here, Wall Street got involved, sector rotation kicks in, and look what we did straight up. But it goes up to a double top. What does that mean? Are we at another spot where when we see a double top, we sell a double top? Well, those don't always work, double tops, right? Let's take a look at this whole picture. Transportation average is at a double top for opening up on Wednesday morning. But I think we need to look at the whole picture here before we decide what to do about that. Russell 2000, sector rotation kicked in the same day. Russell gets to its double top and pays no respect at all for that double top. Didn't even pause. <laughs> Opened up and just exploded through it past all-time highs. Now, what we just looked at is at all-time highs. That's where we're at right now. But Russell, what you just seen on chart 19, is way through previous all-time highs, way through the double top, paid it no respect, and blasted right through it. Then, if you look at something like this, let me see if I can spot this chart, Dow Jones Industrial Average had a double top, zero respect for that double top, blasted off right through. So, what should happen with this double top? It should blast off right through. It should go right through, kids. That's the proof because the other markets that this is catching up to went through their double tops with no worry at all. And the one that trades closer to this than others, the Russell, blasted through its double top, no problem at all. Omni, very bullish for trading on Wednesday, wants to buy the dips in U.S. indices. So let's go take a look at some U.S. indices. S&P, if you think we're stopping, I mean, look at this. After that bull flag, serious explosion. You've got the AI revolution taking place you've got all sorts of great things going on in the market and remember i don't know if i can get to it easily if this guy out remember i showed you in many seminars and videos that we had this index that we used to call the inflation index and it became the deflationary index it went all the way above back here above 140 during covid a little bit after covid settled down a little bit to 140 so that's the index of all the commodities together. Since then, look at where we are. Forget about 101.72. That's old news already. Look at this thing. We went through, we made the double top. Oh, excuse me. We made the head and shoulders, as I showed you, cats. If you make this shoulder a little bigger, it encompasses the whole thing. It's perfect. The markets absolutely dropped as they were supposed to. Through that double top, excuse me, through that head and shoulders formation, down we go. Inflation index now sits at 90.58, kids. Forget about that, 90.58. So between this and what you've seen in that sector rotation, I can't imagine why something like the S&P can't continue higher. Then you've got NASDAQ. What's happening with that crazy NASDAQ? Because that's the one that's been going opposite. 
Uh, I'm sorry, that's not what you need to see yet. We'll come to that. We need NASDAQ. And that's, oh, that is here. Check this out. You need to see this because the last few times we got here, this has been a very appetizing support line for Wall Street. And guess where we are right now? We are here testing that line with a bullish Omni and S&P, Russell, Dow, and Tranny. And you know you got the AI revolution going on. I say these markets have a good chance of going higher. Now let's take a look at two more, maybe three more. Take a look at gold. The question in my trading room right before I started the video is, Oscar, do you think gold goes through this? I think it's going to act just like S&P and NASDAQ is doing, excuse me, just like the tranny and the Russell is doing. I think it'll blast right through this and continue forward based on the momentum that we see here. But there's something better for you metals fans. Look at this. What, you know what, before we go there, look at what gold has done in the last few days. Straight up, right? Up, 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 up like crazy. But look at this guy. It's for you metals fans. Which one has not gone yet? Silver. Silver's in a bull flag, and it hasn't had that up, 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 up for the last five or six days. It's been going sideways, building a flag. So silver is getting ready to go to catch up to gold. And that is what should happen next. I think you have a better shot at grabbing silver to catch up to gold than anything else. Hi-ho, silver! So I wanted to show you that. And then there is something even cooler. Check this guy out. Uh, let's see, we want to go to this guy. Do you remember when I brought this chart in front of your eyes about eight days ago and said, this is a very nice hold in Bitcoin. It started at 71 and dropped all the way to 52 and change. And when it got there, I put this very chart out in the video and said, nice hold. This is where Wall Street likes to get involved. This is what happened to Bitcoin since. How about that? Was that not a perfect Wall Street setup? We showed you the video on time. My question in tonight's video is this. By the way, the last question in the last video was whether or not you thought NASDAQ would continue higher and transportation would go down, or B, a reckoning would take place. Actually, that was A. A reckoning would take place, and the transports would go up and send NASDAQ down. That was A. B was, or NASDAQ will continue higher and training will go lower. I want to say out of hundreds and hundreds of you that wrote in, almost everybody chose A, a reckoning. And a reckoning is exactly what happened. You have been fantastic students, fantastic omniacs. You've been answering these questions really well. I told you my opinion. I thought a reckoning would take place, meaning transportation's up and NASDAQ down. That is what happened, and most of you thought the same. Tonight's question, A, please answer below in comments. Will Bitcoin go through the top this time? Because look here, stops at the top, stopped at the bottom. Stops at the top, stopped at the bottom. Will Bitcoin go through the top this time? Or B, will it fail once again at resistance? What will happen? Please answer below. Do you think this time Bitcoin goes straight through and continues on? Or B, fails back here once again at the resistance line. Traders, please answer now. Answer below, A or B. I will tally your answers and let you know how you did in our next video. Traders, thank you so much for tuning in. We love you guys. Please like and share these videos all over the internet for us. And remember to keep your emotions out of trading. How do you do that? Put your stops in first so you eliminate risk. Then when the market's coming after your stop and you get nervous, don't do anything. Don't touch your keyboards. Say this to yourself instead. Stop so
friends, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you all at livewithoscar.com.